Hello my YouTube friends and welcome back to my channel. So it is just after eight o'clock, well it's actually quarter past eight and I have arrived at work and I have a very busy day ahead today. So I'm showing you what a day in my life looks like as a research scientist in environmental chemistry. By the way, if you didn't know me, my name is Jessica and I recently finished my PhD. Well, I say recently, but I finished my PhD this year um, at the beginning of the year and then started my job as a research scientist quite quickly afterwards. And yeah, today I'm going to show you what a day in the life looks like for me. And of course, on the day that I am filming this, I forgot to bring my tripod. So it's going to be an interesting video. But anyway, it is quarter past eight and I've just arrived at work. I did have a leisurely breakfast this morning so that's why I'm in a little bit later and yes we have a very busy day ahead. I have not been on the LCMS this week because it's actually been getting serviced so I have been mainly processing data because at the beginning of November, we have a big project update meeting where we basically need to present the whole year's worth of data for one of the rivers that we are analyzing, which is a month earlier than my original deadline. So this week, well, this month is going to be very data heavy, but today I actually need to work on the method development that I was working on in my previous video because I have new SPE cartridges now, which means that I can trial a different cleanup method and we have also grinded up the fish that we're working on, which is what the method told us to. So I am following the method a bit more closely now and fingers crossed that it's going to work. We will find out next week. But yes, I need to go and weigh the fish because I'm on quite a strict time schedule today. Yeah, I'm going to take you along with me. <laughs> Jessica coming at you to share with you a very useful tool for when you are reading PDF research papers and also for all of your editing needs for any PDFs. The sponsor of today's video is UPDF, which is an AI integrated PDF editor which can help you edit, annotate, summarize, translate, it can help you to sign your PDFs and so much more. UPDF makes it incredibly simple to edit text and pictures in your PDFs and it also has some very good annotation tools to help you study using your PDFs. So it's got many different tools like you can put sticky notes, you can put comments, you can also put these little checkbox stickers for your different pages and you can tick them off as you've read the pages, which I thought was incredibly useful, especially when it comes to reading a paper. One thing that I really like is that the interface is very user friendly and it's also very visually pleasing as well. And I love the addition of all the little stickers. So you can actually make your PDFs very colorful, which is something that I personally really enjoy. Apart from the fun stuff, the editor does also have your traditional PDF editing features such as signing. You can also convert your other document types like Word files to PDF also. And a very nice feature is that if you have any kind of confidential PDF files, you can actually password protect them also to keep all of your details and your information safe. 
UPDF works particularly well with Apple products such as your iPad, iPhone and also Macs but it is also available on Windows and Androids also so anyone can use it. UPDF is very affordable compared with its competitors such as Adobe Acrobat and at the moment you can actually get 58% off your license and your license will work across all of your devices and all of your platforms. So you only need one license to access it anywhere. Thank you so much to UPDF for sponsoring today's video and I hope you try it out and you enjoy the features for studying and for reading papers like I do. I am sitting down to lunch. It is 25 past one. I would usually have lunch at half past 12 in the canteen, but today I'm having lunch in the office by myself. Um, the SPE that I was doing takes two hours to run and you have to be keeping your eye on it constantly, loading up with different solvents, lots of washing stages, lots of rinsing stages, and yeah, so two hours straight. So it cuts into my usual routine of going for lunch at half past 12, but that's fine. I'm going to sit in the office. I'm going to take half an hour to not do anything related with work. I'm going to put a video on my iPad and uh, watch something while I eat my lunch and just completely have a break and rest and then go back into the lab again. So my to-do list for the afternoon, I need to change the column of the LCMS to the one that I need for this analysis because it's a completely different HPLC column. I need to check if I have enough mobile fees to do the analysis. I need to prepare a dilution of an internal standard and then I need to add that internal standard to my calibration standards and I need to prepare a sequence to run those samples tomorrow and I need to label tubes and prepare a, a solvent solution for, for diluting the samples tomorrow. So it's quite a big to-do list but I am going to go for coffee break at 3pm because I'm tired. <laughs> and I need a break. <laughs> so yeah, let's crack on. So I'm not going to show you exactly what I'm doing in the LCMS because I showed it in a previous video before. I think it's my last week in the life video or day in the life video, but I'm basically going to be taking apart this because I need to put a delay column here. So I need to change all of this tubing. I need to change the column in here as well. And I need to change the mobile phases. out into the rain to collect some solvents. I don't want to go into the rain. Mm. Got the goods, now it's time for a coffee break because it's three o'clock. Woohoo, I'm gonna have a cup of tea and a biscuit. I can't wait. Sorry about the noise. Hello my friends, I am home now. I finished work at half past four. Between coffee break in the afternoon and finishing, I prepared my sequence to run my samples tomorrow. I didn't end up taking the dried samples and adding the solvent to reconstitute them and centrifuging and preparing them in the LCMS vials for tomorrow. I will do that tomorrow morning. I can't do everything in one day, I'm not superwoman. And I also had to prepare a dilution of a calibration standard that's incorrect. It's an internal standard that I had to add to the calibration standards. So I got that done, which was good. And yeah, that was basically it. I tidied up. Oh, I prepared fresh mobile phase for the run tomorrow. So I just wanted to be like ahead of the game. You know, I just wanted to prepare as many things as possible for tomorrow. So my day goes a bit more smoothly. Tomorrow is Friday, so I have a shorter day tomorrow. I like a uh, early finish on a Friday, don't we all? And yet yeah, this week's actually been a very fast week. I was analysing data on Monday from home, because uh, I told you earlier about the big meeting we have at the beginning of November, and then Tuesday was data analysis, and then yesterday and today I've been lab-based, and tomorrow will be a mixture of lab and data. So it's been quite nice that the week has been broken up between the lab and on the computer. I'm currently in this tricky phase of developing this method that I've told you about before. And I'm kind of in this constant cycle of trying a method, it not working, trying a method, it works a little bit better. And when you're developing methods, it's all trial and error and it can be a little bit demotivating sometimes, but I just need to keep pushing on. And I am praying that the method that I've tried this week 
has worked and that on Monday I will get good recoveries and I will get good results. It's just so frustrating sometimes because you look at papers and you try to replicate the method that they have stated in their papers and they don't always add all of the details which is highly frustrating. The bulk of the details will be there but they'll, they'll miss out you know a few sneaky key points on preparing the standards or preparing your solutions and it can just make trying to replicate the methods very challenging. <laughs> anyway, I am hoping that it has worked. We will see on Monday but for now I am going to say goodbye. I'm actually going to edit the video from today. I hope you have enjoyed today's video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!